Hello, hello, lovely souls. This week, I wanted to try something new. I know I said in the video last week that it was kind of hard to see what I was doing in the painting process because of the overhead camera view, just kind of my hand was blocking everything. So I wanted to try some new styles of recording. So throughout the video you'll see quite a few different angles while I am working on this painting. Yay, we're uploading two weeks in a row! So I am working on a series and they're going to be based around the Zodiac. And since we are in Capricorn right now, or we will be coming to an end on Capricorn on Sunday, I wanted to get this one finished beforehand. So I did my sketch and transferred it over to my watercolor paper and just kind of taped it down. I kind of wish I had taped all four sides and not just two because you can see later in the video it gets a little warped. And I wanted to do this kind of star design in the background. I think it turned out really cool. I also think it'll look nice um, if I get stickers made of these. I think it'll have a cool shape to it. So the shape in the background will have kind of like a space starry look to it, like it is the constellation in the sky, like the old school medieval type designs of the zodiac where they've got the artwork and then the constellation over it. I think those are really cool. So I kind of wanted to base mine off of that as well. It took me a while to sketch this one out. I wasn't really sure how I wanted the position and then had to use quite a few references to get it the way I wanted. But he turned out really cool. porn for you here. That star shape turned out pretty nice. been thinking about the hues in my paintings a lot lately. I don't feel like my color palette is really conveying the kind of look I want to go for, so I'm trying to, in a lot of my more recent paintings, darken things up and get that more mysterious look that I'm wanting to go for with my pieces. Started out on the horns just because they're on the right side of the page and being left-handed it's a lot easier to start on the right side of the page than the left. Things get smeared very easily. 
Any of you uh, lefties know my uh, pain, my sorrow of things smearing while you're drawing them. <laughs> wanted to play around not only with the angles in this video but having a mix of the real time and then the sped up footage. Do you guys enjoy seeing the uh, slower clips of me working on things or do you just prefer kind of time lapses? So my camera battery died and I kind of lost a little bit of the footage of me finishing up the horns. In this part I'm just going in and laying a first color down, a base color for my uh, goat. And then going into the mermaid tail and adding my first color base on there as well. I wasn't sure at first what colors I wanted to do for the tail. I kind of wanted to have it like a deep teal and blue, but I also wanted it to be more on the neutral side. So I end up actually doing a second full layer on the tail that's a little bit darker and more neutral. You can see as I'm going towards the end of the tail it's more just straight gray. And there's my uh, sun catcher again lighting up my studio in the afternoon. You'll end up seeing a lot of those later in the video as well. Is a bit torn on what to do for like the the fins on the mermaid tail. I feel like they can get a little cheesy <laughs> or cartoony and that wasn't exactly the look I wanted to go for. I think the tail turned out all right though. Getting some shadows on there and then I decided to add all the stars into the background. Make it look nice and spacey.
here I was trying to kind of map out the fins how I wanted them. I was a bit concerned about doing the scale look to the tail as well. I thought for a while on how to do it and I ended up just kind of winging it. <laughs> I uh, just started going in with my paintbrush and doing kind of a uh, latticed dot pattern and uh, I ended up just building on that as I went to give it that scaly look and I actually really like how that turned out. You can see uh, the scales get smaller as you go down. And I tried to add some shadows and highlights to the scales as well. in the fur area. Fur is fun to paint but it's also a pain. A big pain. <laughs> it's very time consuming. And just a lot of layers upon layers. Sorry if you can see the uh, smoke from my incense going through the frame there. <laughs> lighting incense while I'm doing art. Just makes it nice and cozy. You can definitely start to tell here that my page is bowing. starting to get some nice texture on the uh, fur now. You can see all the rainbows from my sun catcher again.
I decided to give the fins kind of an ombre gray look. And I tried to use the uh, color I mixed for the fur in to give it kind of the same hue and be more cohesive throughout. I do like the ombre look they have to them. going in with black to give them kind of a uh, feathered look. Sorry it's so awkward right now. The sun was shining straight into the uh, camera lens through the window. These are my Fine Tech Golds. Absolutely love these paints. And with these, I'm just kind of going in and doing my constellation pattern over top. I love doing these little star shapes. They're so cute. I decided to go through and connect my constellation. And here's our finished product. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye.